Oh, he's not dead. Oh, come on, man. Why are you moving like this? Hi. مرحبا اس ام اس ارمي تشيكن جانج واتس اب جايز هاو يو دوين اتس يور بوي اوما اس ام اس اند وي ار باك وذ انذر ايباكس ليجندز فيديو ناو ان ذيس فيديو اتس مي تيلينج جايز اكزاكتلي هاو تو كنترول ريكول او هاو تو ميكس مينيمايز يور ريكول اند وذ ذا هيلب اوف ا فريند اوف ماين سو ام غانا دروب ا لينك ان ديسكريبشن داون بيلو هير تويتش اند يا سو شيز غانا بي تيستينج ذا ريكول اند اول ام باوت تو سي از جاست ذا جايد فيديو اند شيز اول Uh, she's about to test it for you guys and of course you can go to the farm range and test it by yourself But this is a, a, this is just as a proof. We got the gameplay uh, record of her. So yeah, we're gonna see how it will go I right. guess we are now in the farm range and we're going to test some ALC settings that are less recall and that can actually help with the recall We have a special guest called Yasmin uh, She has a twitch if you guys want to follow her I'll drop a link in the description down below if you want to check her twitch and you will see her screen or like a gameplay how she's doing it like what she's doing right now type yasmin can you hear me yes hello yasmin i need to try right now to just shoot this dummy but from this distance where you're standing right here behind okay now and now shoot right there Listen, let's move here Okay, that's enough. Now Yasmin is using... Show them your ALC. No. She's using a default setting with the ALC, which has like default uh, dead zone. She doesn't have a low dead zone. She did not do anything. So the first step that we are doing right now is for the recall pattern is the dead zone. So Yasmin, I need to do something weird, okay? Go to your setting right. to advanced look controls. And do you see the dead zone on its default? Yes. I need you to put it yes. all the way up. Done. She's bad, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, just do it all the way up. That's it. Yeah. I now shoot the dummy. You'll notice something really bad. I am pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's Can you notice more recoil, right? Yes. Yeah, there is more recoil because so this proves that the more dead zone you have, the more recoil that that you will have. That is normal to know anyway. So. Yes, me. We need to do something different right now. Um, go to the dead zone and make it all the way down. All right. Now try to shoot the dummy. Now, as you notice, guys, in this clip, her aim is instead of going up, it's going down. Uh, the recoil is going down because she's putting pressure on the analog. The reason why this is happening because she has zero dead zone and the less dead zone you have the less pressure you need to put on the analog which she is making it more pressure on the analog because she's used to high dead zone and that's why you will have no recall if you lose use less dead zone because you will put less pressure on the analog and your aim will be stable not going to the top. Do you notice any difference? Yes, yes, yes. First of all, your aim is probably now moving slightly, right, left and right, right? It's not accurate, yeah, but at the same time, there yeah. is no recoil though. Like, there is less recoil, yeah, if you notice. Yeah, it's different for me because I've been using it to, like, differently for a long time. Yeah, you're using default, so yeah. like, I, yeah. I, like, now put it in the middle if you want, like the dead zone. Put it, like two ticks if you want, from zero. Yeah, from, the f from zero, just go up two ticks. 
Now try again. Now. Uh, oh, yeah, and that's so much better, too. Yep. No recoil, but, but you are using slightly right and left. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, what we know, guys, is that death zone has advantage, advantage and disadvantage at the same time. That with less death zone, it has more recoil, I mean, less recoil. But it's less accurate though, but at the same time, it's better for tracking enemies. So that's why I always tell you guys about the dead zone. I, I use zero dead zone, by the way, I mean. So yeah, it oh. needs time for the muscle, uh, muscle memory. So once you like get used to it, you'll feel like it's really easy. Like you don't even have to move your aim. And at the same time, you land all like literally all headshots. Like I'm not joking. Uh, now let me try something different, uh, Yasmin. Put the dead zone normal, get it back to the default. Hold. Uh, now we guys are about to try the response curve, uh, how it's different. Put the dis response curve all the way up. Okay. Uh, now try to shoot. I'm feeling a lot of different. Yeah, uh, try to shoot yeah, this one that is here. moving. What do you think? <laughs> first of all, first of all, I the the more response curve you will have is that you'll feel as, like the stick are harder to move or like track something, yeah, right? So yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they also it also might affect recoil. So for example, now put the response curve all the way down or put it like five ticks under the default. Let me get the ammo. Your response curve on the middle, right? Uh, it's below the middle, like, you, you want it... Five ticks? Yeah, below the middle, five ticks. Yeah, that's good. Then now try it. Try now to shoot. Your response curve on the middle, right? Uh, it's below the middle, like, you, you want it... Five ticks? Yeah, below the middle, five ticks. Yeah, that's good. Then now try it. Try now to shoot. Your aim is swaying, right? Yeah. But there is literally less people. Yeah, there is literally less people. That's true. So yeah, there, yeah. there is two type, there's two steps, guys. But there is literally less recoil. If that's true. Yeah, there's literally less recoil. That's true. Yeah. So yeah, there, there is two type, yeah. there's two steps guys for recall. First of all, the dead zone and then the response curve. Now you can do both of them like I'm doing right here, which is I put my response curve under three takes from default and I put the dead zone zero. But th this will make also swaying in the screen. But at the same time, it's not really like that hard to get used to. So you can do whatever you guys want. You can like put the response curve on the middle like default and you can put the dead zone zero. This is the second step, which is response curve. Now the thir third thing, what we want to try right now, Yasmin, is that put everything onto default again, like response curve on the default and that's on default. Okay. Now the third step is a bit harder than this, which is gonna be the ADS CO speed. Uh, I, I mean, ADS pitch speed. So if you okay. put ADS, ADS pitch speed all the way up, oh no, no, let's put it all the way down for now. Put it all the way there, all, the, all way. the way down. Yeah. Okay. All right, now these are her normal setting, but she's using now ADS pitch speed, which is zero, like zero, the up and down. So now try to shoot the dummy. ADS your speed. Uh, I mean ADS pitch speed. Okay. So if you put ADS ADS pitch speed all the way up, oh no, no let's put it all the way down for now. All put it way. all the way there, all the way down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now these are her normal setting, but she's using now ADS pitch speed, which is zero, like zero, the up and down. So now try to shoot the dummy. It's going you feel there's up. a lot of people, a lot of yeah, exactly. So yeah, th this is the third step. So yeah, th this is the third step that is the ADS pitch speed. That uh, the more you have it, the the more you have it, the less recoil you'll have because you'll push down easier. And the less you have it, you'll have more recoil. So try to put, uh, yes, me like 10 ADS uh, pitch speed. 
from default line. Okay. Okay. Uh, try to do it now. Shoot now. Oh, it's so much better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That. So, yeah, I proved, guys, that there are three steps that can actually change the recall pattern on Apex Legends. You can do a lot of things with these guys, but you need to do it carefully. Like, you cannot put the response cliff all the way down with the dead zone down because you can see the screen here is gonna move a lot. So, yeah, guys, you need to be focused with this. Uh, response curve and dead zone are really sensitive, so make sure to have them like in the middle, like one. One either zero and one ha that has more than the other. And there's the ADS pitch speed. You can do this, the one I have right now. And the ADS pitch speed, you can have it more as you want. If you feel like you have recoil already. So yeah guys, in this video we proved that there are three steps for less recoil. The dead zone, the response curve, and the ADS pitch speed. Three steps are different, so you guys need to be careful by doing this. Find your own, of course, and try to minimize each one and do whatever you guys want. Of course, the pitch speed, you have to do it at least in the middle or up or higher. Uh, because the higher pitch speed is the less recoil you will have. And the less pitch speed, ADS, you will have the more recoil. It is different than the dead zone and the response curve. Because the response curve will have more rec I mean, less recoil if you have less response curve. And dead zone will have less recoil if you have less dead zone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and take benefits from it. If you want to be part of the SMS Army, just subscribe for this channel and join the SMS Army Discord in the link in the description down below. And if you want to uh, if you want to follow Yasmin on Twitch, her link in the description is also down below. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.